All right, welcome back here with Dr. Darian. Thanks for coming back. Good morning. We've been talking about this fascinating new development when it comes to gene therapy, and yes. it's resulted in several young kids with genetic or congenital deafness. They, it gives them the ability to hear. I mean, this is just remarkable. What is this therapy all about? So it's remarkable science. So just to understand how this therapy works, when we hear noise, the vibrations of that sound translates to our ear. It hits these specialized cells that transmit that signal to our brain, and that's how we interpret the sound around us. In congenital or, or genetic deafness, there is a problem with those specialized cells. So in this gene therapy, they deliver cells without the mutation that then allows that person to hear incredible science. No way that you can take a healthy cell introduce it into a person and it can replace an unhealthy cell. It's, it's fascinating stuff. Fascinating and also opens my mind up to what else can we right. do. Right. In this case, this is a very particular kind of deafness yes. and it would really only work for certain uh, children. Yes. They're trying it out in children. Why, why go this route? Why try it with this kind of deafness, which I guess affects only about less than a quarter of a million people. Well, deafness can be due to a variety of different things. Illness, injury, age, listening to loud noises over a period of time, or genetic differences such as this. The reason why they're focusing more on children is because as we discussed during the break, language acquisition is crucial and important at young ages, around the ages of two to three or mm -hmm. four. And so focusing on children who are born deaf by pr providing them the opportunity to hear gives them the opportunity or more opportunity to verbally communicate. And this would be for children who don't have two cochlear implants that's in one place. Of the, that's one of the contraindications to mm -hmm. procedures such as this. So we talk about a lot of other opportunities to provide those who cannot hear to yeah. hear, such as cochlear implants. In this specific case, it, it has to be done in someone who has not had cochlear okay. implants. Just so fascinating. I'd love to read more about this. There's so much information. Thanks for coming in of to course. share this with us, Dr. Darian. And Ocho. maybe applicable to other Oh my goodness, yeah. yes, absolutely. Other, other genetic issues, disorders yeah. and diseases. Yeah. Doctor, doctor, thank you. We, we want to go